Hello, how are you? We welcome you to this session. Last time, we had a special guest who shared her experience as a teenage mom. Today, the discussion is on rape. Research shows that one out of three women in Africa is raped. The statistics could even be higher because there are many rape cases that go unreported. We welcome you to this discussion and welcome our guest. What happened? Two years back when I was 13, 13 years old, Maria was going to buy supper and vegetable and flour. And then when I was coming back at the house, before I entered the house, some, some men came and, and they carried me away. And then they also dragged me and then they took me to another building where there was no one in that building. It was unfinished building. So they raped me and how I knew I was raped when I, because when I woke up I found there was blood everywhere and also I, I, had, I, I had no my pants. So, I, the only thing I did, I, I stood up and then I went and borrowed water from another tap. Then I washed myself. After that, I went back home. Then my mom asked me why was I the all night. And then I told her I was in the party with my friend. And then she believed me. And, and then that is how I continue with life. But in this way, it has made me with the virus. Yes, I never got pregnant, but even when I was raped, I was in period, but I never got pregnant. But it has made me with the virus. Yeah. Yeah. That must be difficult. Yeah. So, did you go to the hospital immediately after the rape, and that's when you realized you had the virus? No, uh, after the rape, I never, I never go to, I never go to any hospital. But I realized I had a virus when one day I was going to the bathroom, and then I found myself I was different like before, and I'm also different from other girls because my vagina and is color. The other side is white, and the other side is red. So. So when you noted that you are different from what you were before the rape, did you tell your mom to take you to hospital? Yes, at, yes, at the moment I uh, felt pain. Yes, I knew I was different. But at the moment I felt pain, I told my mom, then my mom took me to the hospital. And then when we got there, the doctor said that yes, it cannot be treated in this country. If you want to get, to get ill, you must go out to the country. Okay, you went to Kenyatta Hospital? Yeah. Oh, Kenyatta, not Nairobi Hospital. Okay, so you went to Kenyatta Hospital and the doctor said that uh, we cannot get the, the treatment here in Kenya. You have to go abroad to get the treatment. Okay. Normally when people are told that they cannot be cured in one hospital, they ought to go to another hospital to see whether the results will be different. Did you go to other hospitals to seek cure? Yes. but the pain still continues so it makes it very uncomfortable when you're studying in school yeah it's, it's 
see a male teacher you have flashbacks yeah. your mind takes you back to the, the, the point at which you were raped so you have difficulty interacting with male teachers yeah. what are the what are the other experiences you're going through as a result of rape you have told us that you got an illness you are not able to face male teachers although you have no choice they have to teach you in school is there another way that rape affected you? Yes. It was affecting me because if I see any man, I, uh, I feel like he's going to rape me as the other men do. So not just the male teachers, but any male gender in the yes. society. Yes. You feel you don't want to meet them because you fear they'll rape you. Yes. So you have hatred for men and fear also? You also, there is also lack of trust. All right. So maybe it's important for you to know that first of all, it was not your fault that you were raped. That needs to be very clear. The other thing, when you have flashbacks of what happened in the past, you need to tap yourself and tell yourself that happened that time. It was two years ago. And now things are different. So that you come back to the reality, to the, the current situation. That you are not experiencing that problem as it was that time. Now things are different. You are in a safe, a safe environment. You are in school. The male teachers have good intentions for you. So you always need to tap yourself and remind yourself that the situation has changed. It's also important for you uh, to love yourself. Because like you are, you are saying, you feel different and you, are, you feel that your body has changed. And sure enough, it's changed as a result of that experience. But always remind yourself, I am beautifully and wonderfully made. So always remind yourself that you are beautifully and wonderfully made. Then another point that is important, it is important for you to do what you love. Because when you engage in activities that you love, your mind shifts from the flashbacks and looks forward to enjoying the moments that you love. And may, maybe you can tell us what you enjoy doing at this level. Me, uh, what I love doing is I write poems. Oh, like, you write poems? You're a poet? Wow, that's a great uh, talent. So is there a poem that you have written and you'd like to share with us? Okay, please do. It's about the girl child. All right. I am a girl. I have my right. Right? I have a right to be cared for. I write to choose for myself, but what do my parents do? They deny me of my rights, saying it's useless to educate me because I have no importance. But let me tell you, Daddy, I was not only made for the kitchen, cooking and feeding babies. I should be given a chance, not a chance to marry, but to what I can do for us. We have female leaders like Her Excellency Mother Kanata. Rachel Ruto, Karua, Ombaka, and the little Rari Nabai, but my kid, we are all ladies. Ladies with their own pride, ladies with their own position, ladies with their own rights, but let me tell you that. I want to go out to the world, explore, and to do my best, help the country with the rest, because C-H-A-N-G-E, change, is what you mean. Excellent. That was a very good poem. You actually developed it from scratch? Yes. Wow, you're going far. Thank you.
And viewers, you've heard the story. You've heard that she was infected by a virus when she was raped. And the doctors say she has to go outside the country to seek for more specialized medical attention. If you are touched by her story, feel free and support her through these details. And parents, maybe you're wondering why I bring these topics. Well, it's because these are questions that are frequently asked by teens and preteens. So rape is one of the topics that are asked by teens and preteens. And to get more details about questions frequently asked by teens and preteens, please go to the website and place an order for a copy of the book known as The Wise. And we wish you all the best. God bless you.